Welcome back. We're joined by Missy Epps. She is a geoscientist and joined by Marek Ranis. He is an artist. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, tell me, how would a scientist go about recruiting an artist for a project? The first thing that you want to do is talk to someone who knows about art. So get help. Um, reach out to like a dean or a department chair of an arts department. It doesn't have to be visual arts, it could be dance or music. And then um, have that person help you identify the type of artist you need for the collaboration and also um, how to go about reaching out to artists in the community. Yes, and I think most of the universities have art departments and most of the art departments are very much eager to participate in interdisciplinary projects. So. Uh, most of those requests will be received with great welcome. Well, speaking of, will NSF or other funding agencies provide the financial support needed for these artists? Yes, they will to a certain extent. So, um, for example, I've written an NSF proposal that incorporated an artist in residence and um, and Mark was funded. It may not be at a level that the artist needs to fully actualize their project, but it acts as it can act as a really important seed money for that person um, to get started. And NSF is very willing and motivated to have these broader impacts for um, research. So very much so. Well, how has having an artist involved in your own research project been beneficial? Uh, working with Marek has sort of open doors to new ways of talking about my own research for me and that's enabled me to connect to like my students and to people at my university in ways that I never um, have been able to do before. My research is very <laughs> fundamental and, and sometimes people don't understand that and so that has been uh, just one really beneficial part of our collaboration. Marek, tell me about your work and how you ended up in this project. Well, uh, we went through a selection process, so I have to apply for, uh, for this position, and uh, fortunately I was, I was accepted. But also the fact that since 2002 my work is focusing on climate change. Um, initially I was very much focused on glaciology and on the landscape and kind of slowly moved towards more anthropology of climate change. So opportunity to actually go back to the landscape and focus on uh, geology in this case, and also uh, most of my work is in the north, so um, Missy pulled me back to the desert was also fascinating. <laughs> so I felt like it was exactly what I'm doing anyway on some level, uh, although the whole research kind of opened a completely different world for me and was extremely inspiring. It remains to be, to be inspiring as I'm kind of going to continue some of the work even beyond our kind of official collaboration. So tell me, working with geoscientists now, how will this influence or inspire you for future projects? Well, I, uh, this project, and which I'm going to present tomorrow, uh, includes film, uh, paintings, photography, and, and sculpture. So, um, and each of them are kind of addressing different aspect of my experience and observations. And I see them kind of con con continuing um, because kind of body of work will kind of lead me to other, other interests and other elements. So that's pretty normal for most of contemporary artists to kind of have a multi-year project kind of which evolve over time. Uh, and all the knowledge and experience I gained through our collaboration, travels, work on sites, kind of was providing me a tremendous amount of inspiration. I'm kind of, kind of juggling with them and kind of deciding which direction to go. So it was extremely uh, fruitful, let's put it this way. Yeah, yeah and I guess my last question for both of you. Uh, what's it been like working together? Just fun. Huh? <laughs> We've really had a great time. I think both of us have learned a lot, you know, from each other, and uh, it's just been something completely new, um, a new way of approaching my science, anyway. Also, we were very lucky because uh, I think the chemistry was fantastic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, besides obviously talking about ideas and discoveries and, and research and possibilities and just having conversation, which kind of touching on the relation between humanities and science, which I think was super important, especially now at the time of a uh, strange time when the science getting questioned almost daily. Um, you know, it, it, it ended up to be very, uh, a very personal relation in kind of, uh, you know, sharing observation can go beyond kind of traditional research. And I think that's the kind of nature of humanities, kind of bringing different aspects to um, hard science, which is mostly database and, you know, 
very strict rules. Thank you guys both so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you very much.